Hello, my name is April Rovero, and I'm the founder and the executive director for the National Coalition Against Prescription Drug Abuse. In this video, we're going to talk about being a proactive parent. First of all, I think it's important to trust but verify. Um, monitoring their room, their car, their phone for signs of abuse I think is really important. Knowing the street name, so if you're looking at their phone and text message, you know, knowing the terms that are being used for particular drugs is really important. Uh, here's a sample of them, but just know that you can Google this anytime, just look for street, uh, street terms for medication or slang for drugs, whatever, and you will find um, a wealth of information on the web, and you need to stay current with that because it does change all the time. Consider drug testing. I know this can be a little bit tough to, to think about, especially for a middle school person, uh, perhaps. But if you decide that it's important within your family to just absolutely know, you know what's going on, make sure you get the, the, the kits that provide a 12-panel sampling. Uh, that's because you will then test for the things that are most prevalently being used. Anything smaller than that in terms of panels is not necessarily going to catch them. Or otherwise, consider taking it to a pro, and you can actually do hair testing as well as uh, urine sampling in that case. So where, where they are at all times is probably important generally to know. If, while they're in school, no problem, they're there. But when they're going out with their friends, I think it's really important to know where they are. And using the cell phone location services tracking uh, mechanism is really a, uh, an easy way to, to track that, you know, see if they are where they said they were going to be. Activating a circle of care, and that is where you basically are touching uh, base with the, the various entities that are interfacing with your child all the time. They're in school, they're talking to their teachers all the time, they're talking to their coaches. There is a whole wealth of opportunity to get information about your child if you're having open and honest conversation with that circle of care. Uh, now, Loxone rescue kits are really important to have on hand if you have someone in your family that has an addiction problem to opioids or if they're taking large amounts of opioids because of maybe a chronic health problem. That would typically be an adult, of course. Now, Loxone can reverse an overdose um, you know, to opioids and people can survive because of it. Uh, these kits can be obtained, check with your doctor, uh, they can be used by lay people like us to reverse that overdose, so check into that, really important. Being a good role model yourself in terms of your, your medication behavior is important, so don't just pop pills because. Uh, you know, there's a general mentality in our country that there's a pill for every ill, and if we start to turn that around by, by showing that we personally as parents are using other ways to, to work through our pain issues or our stress issues, I think that's important. Having communication with your physicians, with your children there especially, to witness is really a great opportunity to help build that good medicine behavior too. Asking the doctor, is this drug addictive? Uh, what are the side effects? If there are potential addiction problems with it, exploring those other alternatives. You know, make sure that you actively do that and that your child sees that, not just in your own healthcare, but in theirs as well. Make sure you lock up your medications. This is so important. Every one of us can make a difference with this epidemic if we just do that. Lock up your medications over the counter or prescribed. Also properly disposing of them is super important. Don't throw them in the trash. Don't drop them into the toilet. Uh, our environment gets harmed that way. We want to take them to a uh, drop-off location. Very typically, they're at our police stations. But call your city, call your police department, and they'll be able to tell you exactly where to go. To learn more, please tune in to the other segments of our prescription drug series.